Okay, we are back with our Space Marine Captain here in his Terminator armor. And we are going to go ahead and start doing the fine details. I think we're done with the coats of paint on his armor. You can see how the washes have created natural highlights along the armor points here and along here. And we're going to use those when we do our highlighting later on. But for now, we have to get these detail bits inside his armor and his chain and his Aquila and everything. We need to get that done. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start like always like this. We're going to start with a little bolt gun metal. I'm not sure what they're calling it now. Maybe hopefully it's the same thing. Use some older pot that I've had for a long time. The color's still good. Keep them all in really good shape. Add a little water to it I think. And what we're going to be doing is dry brushing all of the bits that we know we're going to be metallics. Now we've finished kind of the dry brushing of the the bolt gun metal. I'm gonna start putting some of these um, colors, um, these metallic colors, into this guy. Um, I'm gonna be using a combination of warlock bronze, and dwarf bronze, and shining gold, and burnished gold. Um, kind of in that order. Different levels of gold and metallics to kind of come in here. And I like working from darkest to lightest, so we're going to start with a little bit of the Warlock Bronze, which used to be called Tin Bits, which was my by far my, my favorite color of all time. Just the way it lays in and the, the things you can do with Tin Bits and Warlock Bronze, it's just fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna do some dry brushing. shade off. We'll hit that hammer with a lighter shade, with a lighter metallic, because that's going to be kind of our power weapon. We're going to do like a power weapon effect. So we're going to be using some mithril silver. I like up against kind of the grain of these, these wings here. I want to leave that dark underneath there. I want to leave kind of a transition. I want those drop shadows to stay there by themselves.
now we're going to move on to a slightly darker shade and move on to our dwarf bronze. Slightly darker, or slightly brighter, I'm sorry, in pigment. I really like this color too. If you don't pick up the phone when the wife calls, you can end up in trouble. Okay, so we've got the the dwarf bronze on that, and we're gonna move on to shining gold. It's now slightly brighter. Okay, I think that's looking good for now. We're gonna let this all set, and then we'll start moving on to the other portion. Actually, before we go ahead and go, um, we wanna go ahead and start preparing the face and the head for painting. So we're gonna hit that also with some, some pigment. Pigment. We're gonna start with a little Agrax Earth Shade. I think this is as close to, um, oh, what was that color called back in the day? Devlin Mud. Uh, let's see if it smells the same as Devlin. This is a new pot of paint. No, it does not. Devlin Mud back in the day used to have this horrid, retching smell to it. It was just awful. People would complain about getting high on Devlin Mud fumes. So what we're all going to do is going to just give it a nice little layer of wash. With this brown color. I always envision these like the blood angels just like stereotypical like space vampire so that kind of white Aryan blonde hair blue-eyed kind of look but we're gonna make it a little dirtier don't worry about that red we've gotten on there we're gonna fix that with some highlighting some dry brushing so we're gonna let that set and we will come back to our captain here in a little bit oh captain my captain I have decided that I want his um, little loincloth here to be in this. We're going to get a little bit of metallic action here too. I like pushing this Warlock Bronze into the joints of the armor, like at the knee and at the elbow, where it joints together, right in here. I love putting this color in there. It's shiny and metallic, but also dark, so it sits down in those shadows for us, creates that depth that we're looking for. 